Uh, greetings, everybody. Today is September 4th, and uh, I'm going to give you some, well, in the military, we called it scuttlebutt, but uh, things I'm hearing from via emails from other people, uh, at least two other people have given me this information. One reports that uh, they people that they know personally have family members that are going to hospitals being actually sick and you know uh, some of them are have had the um, shots and others have not so I am wondering there's been on some of these videos that I've been watching, some of the comments, people were reporting that, well, you know, I don't know anybody that knows anybody that knows anybody that's actually gone, gotten sick and gone to the hospital. Well, that's not true anymore. People are actually starting to get sick and go to the hospital. Maybe the you-know-whos, the children of the devil, decided that uh, too many people are waking up to this, so maybe they're releasing something, the real thing, I don't know, or whatever. Maybe they're spraying something in the air, I, you know, I don't know. But I'm hearing reports that people are going to the hospital. And a lot of these hospitals are at the point where they're like, oh, well, you know, if you're going to come to the hospital here, you're going to have to get, you know, we're going to have to inject you with something. And thing is, these hospitals are, um, a lot of times they're not allowing family members to go visit their family. So there's no telling what they're doing to these people. There's no telling. I mean, can you imagine that? You're not allowed to visit a family member? Wow. So, especially if you're uh, older. So, there might be some uh, things you might want to do. Now, if anybody's interested in some alternative uh, treatment things, uh, send me an email. My email is, well, I've got two of them, chaplainbob at proton, P-R-O-T-O-N, mail.com, chaplain, C-H-A-P-L-A-I-N, bob at protonmail.com, or you can write me at palm, like a palm tree, beach, weddings, with an S, palmbeachweddings at gmail.com which I don't know how long that's going to last. I've heard people tell, uh, say that the um, when Tube deletes your channel, sometimes they will wipe out your email, uh, you know, and then you lose all your contacts. I've heard that from others, that they delete your Gmail account too, and everything associated with them. Um, last night I got a permanent suspension on my face fascist book, which is fine. Um, I've been posting the Gab. Gab is pretty much garbage. I mean, here it is. It's supposed to be all these people on it, but they're not seeing my posts. Almost nobody sees my posts. I'm kind of wondering if they, what they, it's what they call a honeypot. Um... It's where they trick you into going to so that uh, they can track you and, you know, find out who you are and what have you. I'm kind of wondering if that's what Gab is. Uh, Andrew Torba is, he's Catholic. And I don't know if you know it, but uh, the Catholics, uh, you, all I know is the Pope uh, had people burned at the stake for having a Bible. Yeah, where, where did Jesus say to do that? 
Oh, that's right. It's the Pope. The Pope supersedes anything that Jesus says, according to them anyways. Um, I don't think there's going to be very many Popes in heaven, but, you know, I don't make those decisions. Now, second email. Um, I asked a guy that was a trucker. You know who you are. Now, I had a Class A CDL, commercial driver's license, uh, tractor trailer, semi tractor trailer driver. I drove for about five years in the no late 90s. And uh, I am very, very familiar with trucking. I was a cross country driver for a while there. Now, here's the deal I went to. A truck stop in Los Angeles one that I'd been to in the 90s their restaurant was closed that is unheard of for a truck stop restaurant to be closed unheard of it's probably the first time in the history of that truck stop it's ever happened and of course uh, I checked a few others and they're saying, well, if you're not, if you don't have the, uh, you know what, medical treatment, uh, you can't use their facilities. And of course, if you don't have the medical treatment, you're not allowed to work for us. And I'm hearing this from uh, various places. And I mean, I went to the truck stops website and looked this up. Plus, I'm hearing this from somebody that's a driver. And, uh, you know, it's crazy. I mean, absolutely insane. I mean, here it is. Uh, if the trucks ever stopped, grocery store shelves would be bare in two days, if that. I mean, trucks supply a huge amount of, you know, everything moves by truck. You know, I mean, yeah, they got rail lines, but... Even the rail lines uh, are in containers that they unload from the rail. You know, it might go from uh, California to New York by or Chicago by rail. But when it gets to the end of Chicago, they take it off the rail and they put it on a truck. The containers, they just pick them up with a crane and uh, put them on a, you know, a, on a truck. Without trucks, America stops, period. Well, the thing is, the truck stops are claiming we can't get anybody to work at our restaurants. That's why they're closed. Uh, I don't believe that. They never had a problem in the past. What is what is different now? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you're requiring them to get vac, the, the vac, the vacuum. Yeah, the vacuum, uh, you know. I think those of you that know, you got to use keywords to keep from being uh, silenced. I mean, fascist book already suspended me, and now you got uh, a tube. But uh, they're requiring their uh, truck stop workers to get a medical thingy, and people are saying, uh, no. So maybe that's why they can't get anybody to work. I, you know, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I'm just telling you what I've been hearing and what have you. So I don't know. I am going to read you uh, the email that I got from this guy that's a trucker. Uh, let's see. All right, let me read this to you. Bob, I tell you, there are a lot of things shut down and not working out here. Bob's note here. Truck stops are 24-hour operations. You can get a burger or eggs at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning always until, you know, this, what, this thingy that's been going on lately for the last, what, 18 months or whatever. So, all right, never mind. I'm going to continue reading. 
He writes, I used to love to go to the restaurant in the Petro truck stops called the Iron Skillet. I'm familiar with that too. All of them are closed. Nobody stays open for business late, not even on Friday and Saturday night. It's sure a different world out here than what it was before. The excuses is not co, you know what, uh, video, yeah, they say, but rather they can't get anyone to work. When they say you have to have the you know what to do this job, I'm done, Bob. I really believe it's the mark of the beast. Uh, my note here. Uh, that's not too far from the truth, if you ask me. It's getting to the point you can't buy or sell without it. However, it's not in the right hand or in the forehead yet. So, yeah, we'll see how that runs. Okay, let me continue. And these masks are just a humiliation ritual that um, sun god worshipers that are druids that run all our businesses, country, and media, they're doing it to humiliate the seed of Adam. Just wait till the seed of Cain starts killing all these sheep. It's coming, Bob. There are classifications of bloodlines of different people that society has not been educated on or revealed to its existence. Uh, Bob's note here. Boy, that's the truth. Let me continue. When it starts, people are not going to even know what's going on. It will happen, Bob. God has shown me these things, and as far as these pharaohs are concerned, who are the leaven of the Pharisees, they think nobody sees them. And by the way, uh, when my Bob's note here, when Joseph and Israel was in uh, Egypt, there was a different line of people called the Hiskos who were Semitic cousins of the Israelites running the show. And then the hundreds, whatever, couple hundred years later, uh, when Moses and Pharaoh were there, uh, that Pharaoh was actually of Egypt. And Egypt and Ethiopia were the uh, descended from the children of Ham. Now, whether or not the people that are in Ethiopia today are the same ones as before, I don't know. But they were the children of Ham. Ham was the non-chosen seed, and Ham was where the Philistines, the giants, Goliath, David and Goliath, and where the Canaanites, you know, the, the people that God said to kill them all, uh, where the Canaanites came from. They were from Ham. So God wasn't very pleased with Ham. And just remember, Ham's not kosher, right? That's a joke. All right, let me continue uh, seeing this. Um, and as far as these pharaohs are concerned, who are the leaven of the pharaoh sees, they think nobody sees them. But just like in the days of Jeremiah, Bob, God has taken me and showed me their abominations and idols, just like back in the prophet Jeremiah's time. And God is going to let this come upon the commoners. That's what it's going to take Bob to restore his church because it is in a major state of falling away. And Bob says, amen to that. I can hardly believe that these, uh, Bob's note here, I can hardly believe these truck stops and restaurants are closed. I mean, if these truck stops closed, trucks would be, they would stop and the grocery stores would be empty. You know, people, if you got money in the bank, uh, well, you know, think about what would happen, um, you know, suppose the grocery stores were empty for a month. What would you do? Think about it. Uh, can you eat your money in the bank? Huh? Can you? Think about that. You know? Yeah, government's going to take care of you, all right. Yeah, they're going to take care of you, all right. Yeah, so, um, all right, well, I just thought I would share that with everybody, and uh, 
And oh, by the way, I got kicked off a fascist book, and uh, which is fine. And like I said, Gab is garbage, pretty much, I think. I'm not even going to mess with it anymore. I do have a presence on Odyssey, um, but Odyssey copied my videos from YouTube. But the thing is, uh, they'll only copy the short videos. The longer ones, they won't copy unless, I guess you got to pay a premium fee. And I'm sick and tired of going to these places, paying a fee, and then they start uh, censoring. So, I don't know. I'm tired of it. I mean, I got that with uh, Brighteon. I got that with BitChute. Um, I, it's just, I'm tired of it. I really am. So listen, everybody. Uh, like I say, I got the free Bible study um, downloads um, for when I'm no longer around. I don't copyright anything. So if you were on social media and something happens to me um, and you want to load something, I don't care. It's all glory to Christ. And besides, people are going to, people are not going to understand what's going on. I mean, they've been convinced that the you know who's are the ones that are going to be persecuted and that the Christians are not going to be here. Um, in the 1950s, churches were preaching against the evils of communism. Now, these so called churches are, it's all about the evil of the Germans in World War II. Uh, you know, the six this and the six that. I don't think so. You know, um, you know, you want to really read something. Read about uh, what happened in uh, Ukraine after World War One. Read about that. I mean, it's it's amazing. Uh, it's an all it's an unknown part of history. I've always been interested in history. Maybe the Lord put a yearning in my heart for that. I don't know. Probably. But um, I don't know. I always wondered why when you went to college, they wouldn't teach you any modern history. Oh, it's always the old, the old stuff. I thought, well, I don't want to learn about that. I want to learn about uh, the modern history. And they don't do it. You know, thing is, uh, did you know when uh, Germany and Russia both invaded Poland? And England and France had a, uh, a pact with Poland that if they were attacked, that whoever attacked them would have war declared against them. Well, England and France declared war against Germany but Russia that did the same thing that invaded Poland they didn't they didn't declare war against Russia communist Russia you know there's a lot of things going on uh, <laughs> people just have no idea no idea at all so you know that's just the way it is but uh, but my point is, in the 50s, they were fighting, the churches were warning against communism. But they don't do that anymore. You know, communism didn't die. It's just playing possum and changed its name. That's all. You know, a wolf is still a wolf, even if you call it a canine. You know, it's still a wolf. And everything changed because of the people like Billy, Gr Billy Goat Graham. That's why everything changed. So, what can I tell you, people? All I know is, uh, one more thing. 
I, I'll be honest with you, I, in the past, I had like a burning to, to do Bible studies on like certain subjects. I just don't feel it anymore. I'm kind of wondering if maybe my, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe the Lord says, well, everything I want you to, you to do is done. I don't know. And I don't claim to be a prophet and I'm not claiming the Lord used me or this and that and the other, but I, I just don't feel it anymore. You know? But uh, I got a lot of old stuff. You know, download it. Get, put it away. Put some Bibles away. Prepare for your family, people. You know, if the trucks stop, they're, if the trucks quit running on the road and they stop, grocery store shelves are going to be empty. And let me tell you something. When, when people don't have any food, you want to talk about riots? In the 70s, New York City had a power outage. I think it was three days. Well, the you-know-whats uh, rioted and tore the place apart. Yeah. Can you imagine if it was nationwide? You know? Uh, they would just call for United Nations troops to come and... Um, Huh, let's see. Henry Kissinger in the 70s said, um, if UN troops were marching through the streets of America today, America would be outraged. But in the future, if there was a perceived threat and United Nations troops were marching through the streets uh, to protect were perceived to protect America people would be happy and that's a paraphrase paraphrase you know big time from memory paraphrasing but I think you get the idea I don't know what's coming but I have a feeling this winter is going to be what they call a dark winter and not necessarily because of a lack of visible light perhaps a spiritual darkness i don't know so all right everybody uh stay close to jesus prepare your family people prepare things are going to get crazy you know god only promised us two things in this life food and clothing that's it Food and clothing. Yeah, he didn't promise us a car or or a fancy house or you know all that stuff comes on the other side. This is Satan's world for now, but the landlord's lease is uh, running shorter every day. Just keep that in mind. All right, all glory, blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.